1846 this area had three pits Bradley House Fold, Bent's Lane and the Rising Sun Pit. In 1850, there was a fatal accident at the Rising Sun Pit, which resulted in the pub being used as a temporary morgue and temporary hospital for the injured and dead. In 1976, while they were altering this train station to build a new ticket office, uh, we found two mine shafts connected to the Rising Sun Pit. Could this disturbance have caused the ghosts of the old miners to now haunt the Rising Sun Pub? Fuck! Oh, fuck. 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 serving spirits, I'm actually searching for spirits tonight, and we're at the Rising Sun in Bredbury in Stockport. Now this pub has um, got a bit of a haunted past, um, the, the name the Rising Sun comes from, it used to be a pit um, back in 1846, and there was actually three pits around here, this being one called the Rising Sun, and there was uh, Bradley House um, Fold, and there was also Bent's Lane Pit as well this being a third pit um, and strange things happen in it um, reports of uh, people being touched uh, shadows going past ladies toilets um, people feel uncomfortable in there uh, things moving about um, so it's a pretty active pub really so we've got the bar where there's a lot of it a lot of um, goings on around the bar area both bars we've got the ladies toilets We've got the cellar, which is down there, and also we've got the kitchen area, where um, a, a, like a black, um, black black mass has been seen there, and not a lot not a lot of the staff like to work here, and uh, like I say, the, the the new landlord and landlady have only been here eight months, and they've uh, witnessed quite a lot in the eight months they've been here, so that's why they've asked us to come in. Right, so tonight. We're at the uh, Rising Sun in Bredbury, and I'm just going to walk you through to the uh, areas we're going to uh, investigate tonight. Uh, the first one of interest is known as a kitchen, where all the food's prepared, it's a cold storage, um, and this is where this is where there's been like a black mass or, and also what the staff call a peeping man has been seen looking at the window, which is behind you and that's been seen on numerous occasions so what we're going to do is we're going to investigate in here which is like a cold storage and um, fridges etc we've got um, this is a kitchen area and this is just behind you here we've got um, HD infrared camera set up with night vision on uh, for the part, part one of the investigation Part two, I'll take you around. This is the, um, still the bar area. Um, the next part, which has had a lot of activity, is the ladies' toilets. Now, I think this is the ladies. I hope there's no ladies in here anyway. But this is the ladies' toilets where people have felt really uncomfortable in here, um, especially when they're going on their own. And um, there's two cubicles. And the, the end cubicle seems to be the focal point of um, like the activity around here. And coming in here, you get like it's a proper cold feeling. As soon as you come in, it feels a bit sinister in here, and it does feel like there's somebody actually hiding. Uh, this is the second uh, toilet, which is uh, I won't show the toilet. It's just a toilet cubicle. But this is the second one. What people. Um, tend to feel a bit uneasy in. but 
you can't feel it on camera, but yeah, it's actually a cold, cold spot as soon as you come in here then. I felt that. And it's the first time I've been in here without the lights on. So there's a bit of a cold spot in there. So we're gonna do an investigation in there. We'll lop a camera off in there as well later. Uh, this is the the third part, which is the bar, the second bar. Um, again, a lot of activity in here. Uh, we've set up a, a few trigger objects there just to see if we get any movement on them. They're just old coins uh, to see if any old punters want to try and pick one up and try and get themselves a drink with. But again, a lot of feeling, it is cold again here, it's a proper cold spot here. And again, people have been seen walking across here, the bar staff here, serving on that side of the bar, I've seen shadows go across here. So this again, this is an active spot. And then we're gonna go into the cellar. Now, we've got a trigger object, object uh, just in here, which is a trip, which will light, you'll see when I walk past, it's just lit up now. So, anything trips that tonight, that'll go off, we will see it. This is the other side of the bar, which we're going to investigate as well. And this is the cellar. And I'll just take you down there if you want. It's quite steep, so watch your, watch your foot's in, but saying that, I'll probably be the first one to fall. And we're on night vision again. When these lights go off. And it's really cold in here, but we have got air conditioning. Um, and again, we've got a trigger, trigger off here. Which hasn't gone off. I'll have a look at that one in a minute. And this is the other part of the cellar. Again, it's very cold. And that looks like a it's either been a dummy waiter, it could have been a dummy waiter or a fireplace that, but I wouldn't have a fireplace next to a sink. So it's probably been a dummy waiter at one point, I should, I should think. But basically, that's tonight's investigation. All we need now is not to drink the spirits, but to attract the spirits. This next clip that you're about to see, um, it had us really puzzled, we're scratching our heads at it for ages and we just couldn't pin what it was. Um, basically if you, if you look above Steve's head you'll see what I can only describe as a black mass um, fly above his head, sort of shoots into the wall, disappears and then comes back a few times between me and Steve. Um, I've never known anything like it, the trajectory is all wrong for it to be an insect or a bug or a fly, um, the colour of it is super black, it's like a mask, it's like a, a blacker than black. Um, it's been spotted also this, by the the owners have spotted it, um, we didn't see it at the time, Up and it was only found on review, um, and then moments later at the end of this recording, I actually seen something cross the doorway, which is basically what that resembled, it's, but when I seen it as a form, it was. Uh, it moved across the door slow. It was sort of like a mist, like a mist when I seen it. But it goes to show that what it just clarifies what was flying around at the time. I actually saw with my own eyes. Can you tell me who the man is that peeps for people when they're working in the kitchen through the window? Can you tell us the name? Somebody brought used to come in this pub with a dog. Who was that, please? Somebody mentioned heaven. If you don't want us in this building, can you tell us clearly to get out?
If you buy us a steak and you tell us to stay, I'll show us a sign. Who's scared of bad stuff? I've just seen something. I've just seen something. It's fucking hell, that. I've just seen a black shadow run across into that. That's a good toilet. Yeah. Right, I've just seen a dead, dead, dead thing, a black shadow about that eye go across that hallway. Right, 20 past six. Uh, black shadows you've seen gone from the back bar to the world of women's, women's toilet. Yeah, I've seen some of that. It was probably that. That big. Yeah, child, about then. that height. And it was like um, smoke, black smoke. But it went like that. Like, sucked away, went into there. Went into the women. That went there, no? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, okay, too. Yeah. Get the top as well. That's right. Get off me. What? He said get off me. Who's that? Who's there, please? Yeah, that's right. 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 Do you want to set that down? Yeah, I'll hold the top. Is that it? Yeah. What's that, then? Really? Yeah, that's it. Has anyone just walked in here? Anyone? Anyone just walked into these toilets? Wanna communicate? Anyone? Who is it? I just saw us walk into this way. Yeah. yeah. Was that Jack? Was that Jack? Oh, decay to the huh? Can you make the grey box light up, please? Well, I have to. Put your hand out. Put it all my hand out. Can I watch my hand down? Can I make a fire Did you say your name was Jack? This is a lady's toilet, Jack. Should be in here. Who was it that come in? It, it ran this way. That I've just seen a black shadow. Who was it? Can you tell me your name? Are you a child? Child. Did you say you was a child or your name was Jack? Thank you. Jack. Can you communicate with us please? Do you want us to come out of here? Can you make that grey box light up with a little green light on from there? Thank you. Should we come out and try somewhere else? You yeah. don't want to... It said yeah, go on. Go on? Yeah, go on. No, you want us to go out then, we'll respect that. Thanks for saying go on. Yeah, go on. Yeah, go on, it's there. Did you come from this way? 
Vad är det där? Right across there. Right across there, yeah. And it was black. But it was like silhouette. Yeah. Can we review it and see if we... Yeah. Right, so uh, we've just come to the other side of the bar now. Um, we had a bit of a, like, um, quite a bit from the women's toilets. Uh, we've got a name Jed or a Jack. Um, it sounded like that. And um, we've had other bits in the Anthony saw something about that's going off now, the K2, if you just want to zoom in on that. It's just stopped. At the corner of my eye, that was going off. Just stay on it. Now, yeah. It's starting to go again. Um, Ant saw a shadow go past about knee high, and we did get um, like a little child's voice as well. So maybe that knee high black shadow could have been a child. Uh, we'll review that when we, we go back to it. So we're just going to call out again here with the spirit box. Let's, let's try and communicate with that on its own first. <laughs> yeah. If there's anyone here with us, um, can you see this grey box we have here? It's lighting one light up. Can you light a couple of more lights up to prove that you're here? Thank you. That's gone up to three. Uh, can you light any more up? There's like another. There's five lights on it. So can you light any more up? Do you like this box? Can you tell me if we've got your name right? We've got your name come through as Jed. Jed. Is that you, Jed? Can you light it up all the way for us, or as much as you can? Just seen a weird orb, Dad. Did you? Yeah. If that's Jed lighting these lights up, thanks Jed. It must be Jed then, we're communicating with. Jed, did you used to be a regular here? Can you light it up if you were? Was you a landlord? Was you the owner of this pub? You seem to be lighting it all up, Jed, so we're not too sure if you're a, a, a customer or um, a landlord. Let's take it to your landlord, if I say landlord. Can you stop the lights completely, Jed, so we know that you're not messing about? Just stop it completely. On the count of three, can you stop it? One, two, three. I think I've just saw something on the camera, but with my eyes near the bar, I'm going to have to have a look at it. Now? Yeah, you know, just yeah. there, where the... Um, the ice bucket is. Yeah. Was that you who could see, Jed, near the ice bucket? Can you um, light up all the way? Rather than half of the way? As much as you can. Jed, if you can light that up, could you speak to us through this? We've got like a voice. If you if you speak through it, we can pick your voice up through it. Would that be easier for you, or do you want to communicate like this? Light them up if you like this instead of uh, talking. We heard your name it's clearly. It's going higher, isn't it? Yeah. We heard your name clearly. Wow, it's got a big arm. Did you? Yeah. We're very glad you're speaking to us, Jed. We really appreciate it. I assume you know you were a landlord of this premises. Or a punter. Did you sound like a drink? I think he was a customer, do you? Mm -hmm. You're a customer, Jed. Landlord. Yeah. Hey, Jed, with this now. <laughs> Could you tell us, Jed, if that was you lighting the lights up? That's me. I've just seen an orb going to the box as well, when that happened. That's how you get out. Sound like it. Did you just tell us to get out? If you can, can you say it again, please? Wow, I've got a big orb then. Is that. Are you a pub Dad, landlord? That's lighting up that, and they've got an orb here with me. Have you? Yeah. Are you, is, are you a pub landlord saying get out?
<laughs> ask it to light the lights up. Can you light the lights up on the floor, please? Thank you. Can you do it? Yeah. Is that you, Jess? Are we communicating with the previous landlord of this pub? If you can, can you light the box up, please? One light. Are we communicating with somebody that died on this premises? Are we communicating with any miners what used to work on this site? Yeah, that's a little dad. Huh? A little. Have you got any of the miners' names? No, there's only one. I think James G. James what? James G. What? James G, I think you died at the uh, the Rising Sun Pit. Uh, was that you? Right, not that. If you're a male, can you light up the uh, little grey box on the floor, please? Yeah, it's well, oh no, what? I don't know if the light's gonna be the fella. Or is it my light? Do you know what year it is? This is the year 2018. Can you tell me what year you passed? The last had a date, then. It did, it said a date, too. Oh, yeah, it's seven. Yeah. Was that 17 or 1800s or 1900s? Was you more recent than that? Was you in the 18 or the 1900s? I've got a weird thing coming right up to me. Dead thing. Probably just been dust though. There's not a lot of dust in How long do you know it? Can we speak to Jed again please? Will you like the lights up Jed? Well up then. Yeah. Are we talking to Jed? Jed, can you light the lights up all the way on that box or as as um, bright as you can, just just light them up a bit more please. <laughs> I did light up a bit more then. Jed, I'm going to be really cheeky now. Could you actually tell us your surname? What's your surname, Jed? Come on, Jed, we need your surname. Can you tell us? What was your wife's name, Jed? Did you have a wife as well when you worked here? I'd say a man, a man. I like a man, isn't it? Mm. Is that Amanda, Jed and Amanda? Well, all then, isn't it? Come on, I know you want to speak through the box. Speak. Try and make, try and uh, work a bit harder with us. What was that, then? It's all right. Jed and Amanda, uh, was you more recent? Was you in the 60s? Was you in the, a landlord here in the 1960s? 
I just seen some go past you. Did you? Yeah, before, well, just before you did that. Yeah. I felt that, like, feel like, like yeah, that. I'll, I'll replay it and show you. Jed, was you a pub landlord here in the 60s with your wife? The new landlord and landlady here, yeah, they want to communicate with you as well, they're interested to know who you were. Getting them things go past you again. Me? Yeah. Who's walking past me? Can you come over and touch me, touch me hand? Yeah, did you enjoy a game of darts and cards or dominoes? In the old days you used to have pianos in pubs, did you used to have one in here? Could you play some music now? Did you have any trouble in the pub, Jed? Was there, uh, did you have any rowdy customers? They just went right up, mate. Can you light the box up if there's more than one spirit in this pub? Railway workers who used to come in the pub after they'd finished work. Oh, that went right up then, didn't yeah. it? Any railway workers? Porters? Train drivers? I've gone cold. My legs are freezing. The freezing, what the hell is that here? Fucking hell, dude. Fuck. Not right in there. For any of the uh, railway workers, what I uh, tell us your name? Next door to the pub is a station master's old house. Can you tell us his name? Hayden. Who was a station master who owned the house? Shall I review it? Hey? Shall I review it? Yeah. Does anyone here want to communicate with us, please? This is the kitchen. There used to be a cook in here. Tell us if you were a chef or, or a cook. Could you tell us your name, please? Was you a pop washer? Albert. Albert. I didn't give a last name then. It said Albert Summer. Albert, was you the chef here?
Right, I'm here to communicate. Can you uh, come through and tell me your name, please? Your first name? Is there anybody in here with us? Is there anybody down in this cellar with us? I heard yes, spirit. What spirit? bodies were buried down there. Was that a hundred bodies were buried down here? Was there a hundred bodies stored down here when they, um, they had an accident in the mine? Can you make this little box light up for me please? It's in front of me. All you've got to do is walk over to it. That's just gone off in there. Has it? Yeah. Just to prove that the light's well, gone off. Just walk down with it, can The sensor's just gone off in this room. Oh, Fuck! Oh, 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 oh. What was that? Fucking hell. Has that fell over? Fucking hell. Has that fell over? Yeah. That went over? That was a stone. Fuck. Oh. That was a stone, that. Stone? Yeah, <laughs> that was a stone. Here. Yeah. Seriously. Where about? I thought it sounded like it hit the back wall. Woo! It wasn't that. It wasn't that. It was a stone. Fucking Over here? Yeah. Did anyone just throw something here? Kind of evidence, Aaron. Catch that. But Dad, I don't remember that barrel being in, on the floor. It was yeah. a stone, Dad, a full-on stone. It hit the back wall. This wall, eh? Yeah, I think it hit that. It was in there, Dad. Where? In that corner. There. Funny, the light went off, in it. What? Yeah. No stone there. Telling you it was a stone true? that no. I don't remember that but I just saw some hair that in front of me. Who's throwing? It's a stone that it sounds like a stone. Could have been that. Not involved with I'm, I'm feeling dead intimidated in here now. Has anyone just thrown the stone at us now? Wanting to go? Do you want to go out? I've seen you move the fuck. Could you throw another stone? Oh, 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 come on. Don't fucking say that. Could say you throw it. another stone, please? Dad, I don't remember that. That was not on the floor. I can't remember that. That weren't on the floor. Made it right, nice. But we've. Well, we had an American shit in here. That was a fucking stone thrown, wasn't it? Yeah. You know, feel like cow. Why is that light staying on? Because we're still in. Turn that off, because we didn't get any names for it. Fucking hell. What was that? Don't know. I'm actually shaking. What was it? I don't know. Something outside here? I don't know. Should we review it? That's that. 
That's just gone off again in there, has it? Gone off now, yeah. Should we review what we've yeah. got? Or what? Come out of here, you mean? Mm. Yeah? Do you want me to get the thing? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I'll take that wheel. What? Take that. Give us that. <laughs> Give us. What, so you don't stretch the wire? Gone off again. Yeah, it might be me that. Come on, my name's Carl, do your worst. <laughs> well, what can you say about that? <laughs> Did they say they, they weren't bothered about it down there either? Yeah. You have to review that. Still rolling. Yeah. Do your worst. Fuck you, 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 Fuck